Hi, this is Nicola Narbais from the Technical Account Manager team. Through a quick series of videos, I'll try to show you some tips and tricks to better use APM for Node.js. For these quick videos, we will use a demo application written in Express.js where you can create, update and delete dog names. If you look at our code, you can see that the structure is quite standard. And on the right side, you can see that we instrumented our application with our DD Trace library, which will auto-instrument our Express.js framework. With this auto-instrumentation, if we go to the Datadog platform in the Trace module, you can see this list of trace, and we can click on any of them to look at the flame graph for this particular execution. What we are going to do in this video is add an extra information, an extra attribute, into the top level span. In our code, I created an additional function called add dog id to root span. I'll uncomment these few lines. The first line get the current active span. Then we collect the parent of all those spans and we add the dog id information to this parent span. This function will be called in all the routes where a specific element is selected get id, post id, and get id slash delete. If we now go back to our application and generate a bit of traffic, We will now go back to the Datadog platform and observe the additional attributes that have been added to the new span created. On one of the span where the specific element has been selected, we can see the new attribute dog ID, and we have the ability now to create a facet or edit a facet in our case since we already created it. We can search by this facet and highlight all the different actions that have been made on this specific element. We can also go back to App Analytics and create some charts regarding the utilization of all these elements. We can now see which elements are mostly called in these traces collected. This technique covers multiple use cases, such as adding a version number to your applications to see if the application behaves differently depending on the version of your application, or maybe the customer tier or customer type to identify better which traces belongs to which type of user.